Hey guys, how's it going? So I walked into a GameStop recently just to see if there's anything new, you know? And I found this guy. It's the Savage World Raiden from Mortal Kombat made by Funko. Now I do find it weird that they call it Savage World because like that's not written anywhere on the box, which is weird, but apparently that's the official name, so whatever. Now, I was actually pretty excited for this guy when he was first announced, but other people, not so much. I guess they didn't like the odd proportions or something, but I mean, it looks cool to me. I like the detail, those are really cool. Now, here's a funny story. I actually bought Kitana as well, but I wasn't too keen on the paint job here. She has a little bit of eh, over here, so I decided to shop around. You know, I went to a couple game stops looking for a different katana that has a better paint job to exchange with, hopefully. I didn't find any, unfortunately. Mine is the best one. But in that process, I happened to run across the Chase Raiden! What? Now this was really cool. I totally wasn't expecting to find the Chase. In fact, I wasn't looking for the Chases at all, because honestly, aside from Raiden, I don't really like the other Chases, because Sub-Zero just looks like a big gummy bear, and Scorpion just has a weird looking head. So it was really cool that I found this. But after finding this Chase, I was just like, do I really need the common? You know, this guy right here? And then I thought to myself, you know what? I like them both, so I'm going to keep them both, and I'm not going to open this. Because, you know, it, it's a chase. And I never find chases. But it is a clear package, which means I should be able to compare him to the regular version. It'll be a little weird, but whatever. It, it works, so if it works, it works. But anyways, let's go and get this review started. All right, now here's a better look at the front of the package. And as you can see right here, there's actually an indentation to hold him in so he doesn't wobble everywhere. There's one side and the other side. There's the bottom and the top. And here's the back with all the other figures and the UPC. Now a quick point I want to note is that they didn't do a good job holding him in with this little plastic piece because as you can see here some of the paint kind of rubbed off because his foot was rubbing against there. Also on that side there as you can see some on the bottom and also on the arms there so so yeah that wasn't that cool. It's more or less worse depending on which one you get so just make sure you take a look. But anyways let's go and unbox them. Actually, almost time for unboxing. I forgot to show you the chase box. Here's the front of the chase. Looks exactly the same except for the, you know, figure difference and this nice little chase sticker right there. There's one side and the other side. There's the bottom and the top. And the back looks exactly the same as the regular one, including the UPC. All right, now let's go ahead and unbox him. Woo! And there he is, guys, unboxed. And here he is next to his chase counterpart. Pretty cool looking dudes there. Now let's go and take a closer look. Starting with the head here, we actually have a very detailed sculpt in both the head and the hat. I actually quite like this face here. It's very well sculpted and there's lots of curvature and definition as you can see. It even has these like cheek thingies and, and cheek bones and stuff. You know what I mean. They did a good job with this head mask too. It actually looks like he's wearing a head mask, which is pretty cool. As you can see, his little ears are popping out there but not too much because it's in a mask. His hat's pretty detailed too, although there isn't any paint, so that kind of kills the awesomeness a little bit. And here's a better look at the underside of the hat there. Really hard to get a good angle, but let's see. Yep, there we go. Got the back too. All right, now moving on down to the body, we get this super awesome detail. I mean, just take a look at that. It's so well sculpted and designed and everything. It looks more like a piece of artwork and you just really don't see this that often on toys. And you also have these sculptings and these blue pieces right there. Also on the top, as you can see, man, his hat's really shading that light. And it also continues down to the bottom cloth right here. As you can see, more of that intricate detail and that little cloth there. And here's a better look at the back too with more of that nice intricate detail some more of that shoulder detail there. Oh, that's a better angle. And then also it continues down here as well, as you can see. Of course, I love the gold paint that they used on here. It's really shimmery, as you can see, and it's just a really good choice. I love the blue shade as well. It just looks awesome. You really see it more in the back. And honestly, this tan color here, just it has a nice contrast for it. You know, the gold, the tan, and the blue. It just looks nice. I actually like the belt here as well. It has a nice silver tone to it, and the rope sculpting actually looks like rope, which is pretty cool. It's pretty soft, too. Now, the annoying thing, though, is that I guess they, the machine just couldn't deal with the curvature of the rope, so it, it can't really, you know, go all the way around. So you can see kind of that, that gap at the top and also at the bottom, so it didn't quite fill that up. You can see it on the chase as well here. So it's really a machine issue and not so much a quality control issue. Now the whole belt itself is actually really soft and you can actually just kind of twist the belt here as you can see. So so yeah, if you want to get a little fancy with it and 
go backwards. Why well, I don't I don't know that he looks kind of dumb now. Now moving into the arm here, it has a crazy sculpt. I mean, he is like super muscular as you can see right there. I mean, he's like on roids or something. He also has a really nicely detailed gauntlet here as well. Although as you can see, it's kind of lacking in the paint, but it does have detail. So. I don't know about that. Uh, there, there's some blue there too. Now if I had to give out the paint detail here to get this nice gold, then I'm okay with that. So, cool. His hand is actually nicely detailed as well. What I like about it is it's 3D and it's not just like some boring generic pose. It actually has some dynamic posing. You see how not all of them are the same height. And also it's like different as you can see the middle fingers kind of popping up so that was kind of a nice touch there now moving on into the legs he has some seriously muscular legs I mean normally I would say that these were like disproportionate and look crazy but honestly I have seen some people with legs like that so he's just yeah, that it's kind, of, it's kind of creepy actually. This little excess shirt piece or whatever they call that, that's pretty soft too. Now I really like this shin guard right here. It has some really nice detail and I love this silver paint which looks better than this brown right here which is kind of meh. And another cool thing too is the straps on the back holding them in are actually painted a separate color and not just all the same color like the arm gauntlet. And you actually get these little belt buckles as you can see or, or strap buckles, not belt buckles, they're not belts. Strap buckles! And, and yeah, so that's cool. And here's the bottom of the feet for you, for those of you who like reading that little microprint, which actually this one's kind of bigger. Now if you look closely, you can ever so slightly see where that paint got rubbed off on the packaging right there. It's really just on the edges. It's kind of annoying, but it's also hard to see, so I guess I'll let them slide on that. But I mean, honestly, better packaging would be nice. Thankfully the hands, you don't really notice anything at all. Now the only accessories he comes with are these little electric bolt things right here which are pretty cool they're just transparent and they're they're kind of they're kind of bendy Ooh, kind of pointy too but yeah kind of I don't think these are kids safe actually and they just slip on his hand just like that pretty simple get the other one in there attempt to get the other one in there come on okay there we go got him in all right there we go so that's both of them and that's what he looks like with his thunderbolts slash wolverine claws because they're pretty pointy so it just stab everything cha 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 Oh, that didn't stay on very well. Now, as for articulation, it's actually very minimal. His head turns to the left and right, but it gets stopped on his little collar here, although his collar is kind of soft, so he does go a little bit, but that's about it. Now, his arm here only rotates 360 degrees, and that's it. There's no little joint or anything. There's nothing in the elbow, nothing in the arm. Pretty, that's it. He does actually have torso pivot, which I was not expecting, so that's pretty cool. But his legs actually have the most articulation because they're just like, they're on some kind of a ball joint there, as you can see. So it, it really has a lot of range of motion, but there's nothing in the knee or the foot. Overall, there's not very much articulation, but it's just enough to give him some cool and fun poses. And maybe a little break dancing too. All right, now comparing him to his chase here, that's still in package since I don't want to open them, for obvious reasons. But anyways, as you can see, the only difference are his arms here and his legs so and and a little lightning bolt there so I'll give you a closer look at this here now if you take a close look here it looks like the arm piece is actually just a separate mold piece and screwed on right about there so they really just molded the arms in this transparent blue color and just glued it on there so they, they kind of simplified same thing with the leg you can see where the the, the marking is where the leg ends right there so it, it kind of a, a cheap out I guess you could say because I mean, they didn't have to paint it or anything. All they had to do was just use a different color blue, a transparent blue, and that was it. So that was kind of like meh. Also, these electric pieces, they look like they'd probably be soft, like the, uh, these right here. Probably, it's, it's so pointy. But it doesn't look like it's glued on because it looks like it anchors right here at the hand, as you can see right there. Goes right around, looks like they put it over the hat here. Wraps around this side, anchors at this hand. Wraps around here, and then it looks like they just wrapped it around the legs here, so it's anchored there. So it's not glued on. You could probably take it off, but I will never know because I am not opening them. Alright, and now for some comparisons. Now, since I don't have any other figures from this series, well, except for Katana, but she's not open yet, I'm just going to compare them to some Funko Pops. Here is Flaming Head Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Now this one's actually not from Mortal Kombat 10, he's actually the Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance suit, although the box said Mortal Kombat 10, as you can see in this review right here, so that was kind of misleading and weird, but still cool. But here is Sub-Zero, who is 
from Mortal Kombat 10. He's nice little suit there, getting blocked by that little lightning bolt there, the little pokey, the pokey, poke. Anyways, here is Black Panther from a video game. He's a, he's a video game, so I figured I'd throw him in because it kind of makes sense, to, sort of, yeah. And just for kicks, let me add one of my new favorite figures, the Mighty Mugs Hulk. Woo! What are you smiling about, Hulk? You're not even made by Funko. Uh, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean it. Um. Good, good boy. Well, guys, I actually really like this Mortal Kombat toy line by Funko. It looks, it just, it looks really cool to me, and I really like it. Now, other people don't like it, as I said, and I can kind of see why, because if they're not into that cartoony proportion, then, I mean, it's just out the window from that point. But for me, it's a winner in my book. Now, I may just have to get the whole set because they're so cool. I already got Katana and Raiden, obviously, because it just repeated. Although I may skip Liu Kang because he's like, he just looks lame and I never really like playing him anyways. But anyways guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, you know what to do. And if you didn't, I'm sorry. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Stay strong creators. And until the next video, peace.